weekly artificial intelligence news. Hello viewers, welcome back to your one-stop shop for all news AI. We're back once more with the latest, sometimes shocking happenings of the artificial intelligence universe. From diving deeper into symbolic AI, the next gen of AI infrastructure, powers of meta supercomputer, all the way to companies making new gen avatars lifelike, employing AI in nuclear fusion reactors, and NVIDIA exciting from the ARM acquisition, we have it all and more. So without further ado, let's jump right into our weekly updates. However, before we do, we request you to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss another upload of ours. Having said that, let's get right to it. Highlights of the week. Symbolic AI, the key to the thinking machine. Even as many enterprises are just starting to dip their toes into the AI pool, with rudimentary machine learning, ML, and deep learning, DL, models, a new form of the technology known as a symbolic AI is emerging from the lab that has the potential to upend both the way AI functions and how it relates to its human overseers. Symbolic AI's adherents say it more closely follows the logic of biological intelligence because it analyzes symbols, not just data, to arrive at more intuitive, knowledge-based conclusions. It's most commonly used in linguistic models such as natural language processing, NLP, and natural language understanding, NLU, but it's quickly finding its way into ML and other types of AI where it can bring much needed visibility into algorithmic processes. The technology actually dates back to the 1950s, says expert.ai's Lucas Gallagherini but was considered old-fashioned by the 1990s when demand for procedural knowledge of sensory and motor processes was all the rage. Now that AI is tasked with higher-order systems and data management, the capability to engage in logical thinking and knowledge representation is cool again. Spell, GraphCore partner to build next-gen AI infrastructure. Two five-year-old startups, one each from the UK and the US, recently announced a partnership to design and build what they describe as, quote, the next generation of AI infrastructure. New York City-based Spell, which operationalizes deep learning at scale for natural language processing, NLP, machine vision, and speech recognition applications, has joined Bristol-based GraphCore, developer of a microprocessor designed for next-generation AI computing, as the participants in this new venture. GraphCore is the inventor of what it calls the Intelligence Processing Unit, IPU, a sophisticated microprocessor specifically designed for current and next-generation artificial intelligence workloads. GraphCore's IPU POD data center systems for scale-up and scale-out AI computing offer the ability to run large models across multiple IPUs or to share the computing resources between different users and workloads. An IPU POD enables all the IPUs and servers to communicate and synchronize their connections. GPU, Vector, and IPU, Graph, Central Processing Units are designed for office apps, GPUs for graphics, and IPUs for machine intelligence. IPUs have a structure that provides efficient, massive compute parallelism hand-in-hand -hand with huge memory bandwidth. Revolutionary Power of Meta's RSC Supercomputer Last month, Meta, formerly Facebook, announced that it had developed a supercomputer known as the AI Research Supercluster, RSC. The company claims that when completed by the end of the year, it will be one of the world's fastest AI supercomputers. The technology and social media giant says that the RSC will build a strong backbone of compute capability and AI to power the metaverse. The company claims that the RSC's advanced compute capabilities will help address concerns the company's been criticized for, such as identifying harmful content and algorithmic bias. To address these concerns, Meta detailed in a blog post how it plans to safeguard the privacy of user data that this AI-powered RSC will be trained on. Specifically, the company cites that the, quote, RSC is isolated from the larger internet, with no direct inbound or outbound connections, and traffic can flow only from Meta's production data centers. Soul Machines Making New Gen Avatars Lifelike in the not-too-distant future, many of us may routinely use 3D headsets to interact in the metaverse, with virtual iterations of companies, friends, and lifelike company assistants. These may include Lily from AT&T, Flo from Progressive, Jake from State Farm, and the Swami from CarShield. We'll also be interacting with new friends like Nestle's Cookie Coach, Ruth, the World Health Organization's digital health worker Florence, and many others. Creating digital characters for virtual reality apps and in e-commerce is a fast-rising new segment of IT. 
San Francisco-based Soul Machines, a company that is rooted in both the animation and artificial intelligence AI sectors, is jumping at the opportunity to create animated digital avatars to bolster interactions in the metaverse. Customers are much more likely to buy something when a familiar face, digital or human, is involved. Investors, understandably, are hot on the idea. This week, the six-year-old company revealed an infusion of Series B financing, $70 million, led by new investor SoftBank Vision Fund 2, bringing the company's total funding to $135 million to date. DeepMind applies AI to controlling nuclear fusion reactors. DeepMind, the AI lab backed by Google parent company Alphabet, announced this week that it used AI to successfully control superheated matter inside a nuclear fusion reactor. The lab claims that the system, which is detailed in a paper published in the journal Nature, could allow scientists to investigate how such matter reacts under different conditions. While DeepMind remains engaged in prestige projects like systems that can beat champions at StarCraft II and Go, the lab has in recent years turned its attention to more practical domains, such as code generation, language processing, weather forecasting, app recommendations, and video compression. DeepMind licenses many of its innovations to other Alphabet-owned businesses, like autonomous car company Waymo and YouTube, and it recently launched a spin-off outfit, Isometric Labs, focused on drug discovery. While there's still much work to be done, we are pleased that the results indicate the power of AI to accelerate and assist fusion science, most likely augmenting human expertise in the field and serving as a tool to discover new and creative approaches for fusion reactor control and beyond. Martin Reed Miller, a research scientist at DeepMind, said during a press briefing this week. The work also suggests that there might be potential for wider adoption of deep reinforcement learning on physical systems for complex scientific and industrial machines, from simple motor control to complex robots. Nanonets lends $10 million for document processing with AI. Organizations are devoting more resources to deploying intelligent document processing particularly as they embark on digital transformations. As Deloitte explains, intelligent document processing automates the processing of data contained in documents. Understanding what the document is about, what information it contains, extracting that information, and sending it to the right place. According to Everest Group, the global market for intelligent document processing was worth between 700 million and 750 million in 2020. Leveraging a blend of AI, including computer vision and natural language processing, intelligent document processing can help to automate tasks like invoice processing, insurance claims, patient records, proof of delivery, and order forms. Another player is Nanonets, which can extract data from documents and input them into databases automatically. Nanonets this week raised $10 million in Series A funding, led by Elevation Capital, bringing its total raise to over $11.5 million. NVIDIA exits from $40 billion acquisition of ARM. NVIDIA is walking away from its proposed $40 billion acquisition of British chip designer ARM. The deal caught the attention of global regulators, with anti-competition investigations launched in several jurisdictions, including the UK, EU, and US. In November of 2021, UK Digital Secretary Nadine Dorries decided to block the merger pending the results of a 24-week Phase 2 investigation. With the merger looking almost impossible to be approved by regulators, NVIDIA has decided to throw in the towel. Jensen Huang, founder and CEO of NVIDIA, said, quote, ARM has a bright future and will continue to support them as a proud license for decades to come. ARM is at the center of the important dynamics in computing. Though we won't be one company, we will partner closely with ARM. The significant investments that Masa has made have positioned ARM to expand the reach of the ARM CPU beyond client computing to supercomputing, cloud, AI, and robotics. I expect ARM to be the most important CPU architecture of the next decade. AI-powered Dynasets outperform the crypto market. Singularity DAO, born out of renowned AI researcher Ben Gorstel's Singularity Net, has announced that its AI-powered baskets of cryptocurrencies, known as Dynasets, have outperformed the crypto market. While making some recovery in the past couple of weeks, the crypto market has suffered a horrid couple of months. Bitcoin crashed around 50% between November 2021 and the end of January 2022. As of this video, the largest cryptocurrency remains around 37% down, while many altcoins have still lost over 50% of their value. 
Dynasets combine AI algorithms with professional hedge fund traders in a bid to maximize profits and minimize losses in a notoriously volatile market. Although the same could be said for the stock market in recent weeks. Marcello Mari, CEO of Singularity Dow, said, quote, I'm impressed by the preliminary results from the beta version of our Dynasets. Over the next month, we'll be further empowering our traders with more tools, including the ability to short the market and execute trades with leverage. We'll also be launching a real machine learning tools that have never been used in the crypto market before. With that, we come to the end of our weekly updates. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Join in next week for more of such exciting updates.